once you have your ball and you're going to start by just pushing your finger in slowly and then as you um, push it in you're going to be going around the outside so that you're making kind of like a bowl but right now it's just a hole that's getting bigger and you do want your sides to be even as best you can obviously this is by hand and then slowly start pulling it up with your finger and just sliding your finger up and you can use a little water if you need to if your clay has dried out at all. You're just gonna be keeping going around in a circle and it should be getting bigger. Just gonna wet the top. So we're just trying to make the walls a little bit higher because you do want to be able to have some kind of liquid in there and smoothing the edges as you go. Just slowly pulling it up. You can also use the sponge that came in your kit just to smooth the outside as well. I had my clay sitting out a little bit so it has a few little crack marks in it. I'm just trying to make my walls from the bottom a little bit wider because as you pinch up your bowl kind or your mug kind of gets wider already. So I just want my bottom to match the size all the way around. That way it'll look more like a heart when we do get to that point. And you also want it kind of your clay to be even all around, especially just watch the bottom sides here because sometimes people do leave a lot of clay and we do want it to dry evenly. So when we do fire your piece, it doesn't explode or anything in the kiln. I'm gonna let mine sit for a moment and then I can show you guys how to shape a handle because I don't want to put on a handle right now because it is pretty flimsy. If you see, I can basically squish it. So I don't really want to add a handle. So I kind of want it just to sit for a second before adding a handle. And that's another thing, you don't want too much water because then it's harder to add a handle or some people like cutting out things and putting other things on. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm just pinching off a little chunk of clay and we're just gonna use a coil technique for the handle. So I'm just gonna roll it out just with my hand. So once you're happy with the size of your coil, I usually just pinch it and then I'm gonna put it as the shape that I want it. So I want my handle kind of like a candy cane, but honestly, you can do whatever you want. Some people are really fancy and they make a heart shaped coil and stick it on. I'm gonna grab my mug again. And before I put on my handle, um, I'm gonna shape my heart. So right now it's a circle. It might be a little bit of an oval when I flip it up. So what you're gonna do for the end, like the point of the heart, you're just going to take your fingers and kind of cup it between your hand here and just run it back and forth your finger. So then it kind of shows. So now it has like a point, okay? I don't know if you can see that. We're gonna take two fingers, like saying peace, <laughs> and you're gonna set it here, and then you're gonna bring them inside the mug, and you're gonna pull the um, 
with the, just your index finger, the other up. And then after I'm done doing that, I kind of just use my hands to fix any flaws that I'm really not liking. I'm gonna show you how to attach the handle. So what you do, you figure out where you wanna put your handle or where you wanna be drinking out of this heart mug. So I'm just gonna scratch using the serrated area and I'm gonna go down and then across. So you have hash, hash markings. And then I'm gonna do it again at the bottom. And the handle that I made was way too big. So I'm also going to take my handle. So here's my handle. I'm going to cut on an angle right here so that it has a bigger surface area to stick. And since our clay is pretty wet, it will stick pretty easily with just um, scoring because Usually when you do attach handles, my pieces are usually leather dry, so you do need slip in order for it to stick. But these are pretty wet. So I'm gonna score the edges. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and wet it on both spots where I'm putting the handle on the mug. And then again, on the, the piece I'm attaching. I'm gonna put that there. And if your hands are cleaner, there'll be less markings, but totally up to you. Then I'm gonna stick it and kind of blend it into the piece so it looks like it was always there, has less of a chance of cracking. So you kind of just want it to form into the mug. And then I'm going to put the bottom on. Then I will take my sponge and basically rinse it out until it's dry. That way I can run it along the seams of the handle and the mug itself. You really don't want your handle to crack. So then I will take my sponge and basically rinse it out until it's dry. That way I can run it along the seams of the handle and the mug itself. Because you really don't want your handle to crack. Okay. It's a little bit soft. So I'm just going to smooth it. And then set it down again just because it's still extremely soft, but here I'll flip it over. Here's the mug with the handle. Mm -hmm.